Hi everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Woohoo, it's time to do some typewriter videos. I'm in a good mood today. All right, so I've got a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet. We've repainted it in this, uh, actually it's a two-tone pink. Here's Mambo Pink and here's Strawberry up here. And luscious it does look. And guess what? This one's got a really cool surprise for you. So I can't wait to show that to you. But let's go ahead and let me show you how to use a Smith Corona Coronet Electric typewriter. So first of all, carriage, keyboard, paper holder, um, power switch is down here, color selector. But on this one, it's black only. So you actually won't need that. Ribbon reversal. You will need this. We'll talk about it here in a second. Copy set, you don't need that. Um, and I'll, when we get inside, do the insides of the typewriter, I'll explain to you what that is, but you're actually never gonna use this. Um, space bar, and then this is your, the set and clear actually goes with the tab, which you press down, and then you can set and clear it. This is an electric typewriter with a manual return, which means it does have to be plugged into the wall. No such thing as batteries or chargers for this guy. It is, after all, over 50 years old, looking pretty good for somebody in their 50s, I must say. Okay, so the carriage, this is where you're gonna put your paper is right in here behind where the word that says cornet, it's gonna be against this metal bar. To set margins on your paper, you're gonna see these tabs, you press and drag like that, okay? There's a little metal piece right here, that's a paper guide, um, and that just comes in handy if you want to load it in the same place each time. Now on the right side is a metal lever and you bring that forward and what that does is it releases the tension on the paper in case you want to adjust it or take it out. And then on the left side, the metal lever is your line selector for when you hit your return handle, it'll advance either one, two, or three lines. Now to move the carriage, there's a lever on either side behind the handle here, and it doesn't matter which one you push in, but if you pull it in, then you can move your carriage. And you can hear that bell nice and strong. So what is that bell for? Well, glad you asked. As you're typing away and you get towards your margin, you're gonna get real close to your margin, and then ding, it's gonna say, hey, you're at your margin, you're gonna have to hit that return handle and go to the next line. Either that, if you're in the middle of your word, which happens often, and that bell goes off, uh-oh, what do you do? Well, then you can hit MR, which is margin release, and then you can finish your word before hitting your return handle. Well, now that the carriage is over to the left, let's leave it there, and we're gonna pull this forward and take a look at the inside. So inside, you're gonna see the ribbon. This is a universal ribbon. It just fits the majority of typewriters out there, but it doesn't fit all of them. So if you have a typewriter, you're looking for a ribbon, please measure and make sure that it takes a two inch spool. If it doesn't and you have the spools but you need new ribbon, you can go to our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com and select custom ribbon. There's also a link in our description below. And just purchase that, that way you can send us your spools, we'll put new ribbon on it and we send it back to you. Okay, so these are easy, easy. you just pull them in and out like that. Just make sure it snap, uh, snaps down and you kind of got to, come on, there you go. So there's a little pin that sticks up underneath there and that has to go in one of those four holes and that's that pin is what turns the spool. So then once you put it in, make sure it's threaded through the guide wires. So I'm going to thread it here. Okay, and then uh, it has, there's a bunch of things that has to thread through right here. Now, if you go to the link in the description below, that product listing, you can look at the image. I have an up close image of this area so you know how to thread that through. And voila, that is it. So when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of your ink. You just reverse it manually because our ribbons don't auto reverse. 
And you should be able to reverse it probably 30, 40 times, 50 times before you need to replace the ribbon. Now, with single color ribbons, the nice thing is you can actually take your spools out, flip them upside down, put them back in, and you've got like an extra set of ribbons on the bottom end. But if you don't understand what I'm saying, you can find replacement ribbons on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a typing demo. Okay, so for the typing demo, we're just gonna put our paper right here. And turn the handle. And make sure it comes underneath the bar. And then I like to make sure that it's even. Let's scoop this down. And if it's not, then take, uh, you know, use the uh, paper release here on the right side, pull that forward, and you can move the paper really easily then. But just line it up, re-engage. Oops, I got a little crooked there. Re-engage it, and then double check your margins. I like them narrow for this particular purpose. And then let's go ahead and we'll turn it on and do our typing demo. Now, when I turn it on, oops, um, I like to let it run for about 10 seconds just to make sure that motor is engaged. You don't have to, but I just do because sometimes it'll you'll hear it click and that's when the motor is engaged. Okay, so I forgot. I think this is a 1960. see this isn't that beautiful this has cursive font so people love the cursive font oh my goodness they go gaga for the cursive font because it's so hard to find and this one is just a stinking gorgeous not stinking but a spectacularly gorgeous typewriter so uh this is going to be this i guarantee you this will sell within if not within a few minutes within a few hours um that's just how it rolls with the cursive font so if you are interested in this particular typewriter as soon as you see this notification and you're watching this i would just stop and go buy it okay all right let's go ahead and continue typing So pretty. Whoops. Uh, I hit the wrong key. Now, um, I will say on this one, if you are a super fast typist, I did notice um, some hesitation when I tried to, you know, just go full out as fast as I could. Um, I didn't like the feel of the typewriter for that, but if you're just a normal typist study and you don't need to impress anybody with how fast you are, this is still going to work very well for you. Um, like my husband, he didn't notice anything because he, he is a slow typer, but I, I can, when I get in the mode, I can hit it pretty hard and... I, I just didn't. For me, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta cut back, you know, let off the gas pedal a little bit um, with this typewriter. All right, let's go ahead and keep typing. So you can see I'm still typing at a pretty good pace. And also this is, uh, if I didn't mention it before, I don't remember, it's black only. Okay, so there's the bell. And instead of hitting the return handle, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so now it's gonna stop on me. And that, that means I'm at the end of the margin. So if I hit MR, margin release, 
then I can keep going if I want. And then hit the return handle. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. Fabulous, darling. Ooh. Pretty and pink. And, whoops, mistake. Use backspace, but backspace doesn't erase. Um, but pretty darn awesome. All right, take a photo of that and I'll post it on the website. And like I said, if you're watching this video on Saturday morning um, and it's just been put out there, click on that link that's in the description below and go get this typewriter. Thanks so much for watching y'all and have a great day.